What up guys, your boy Quake and Drake's Scorpion album is finally out and there's a lot to talk about. And I'm not going to talk about all the things in one video, I'm going to split it up because there's a lot and I don't want to make a really, really long video on one album. Let's talk about the first thing that a lot of people were anticipating, that a lot of people were excited about, and that's Drake responding to Pusha T finally. However, he kind of responded to Pusha T and he kind of didn't. A lot of the responses are sort of sprinkled on a bunch of other tracks. They're not in one track. It's all over the place. And you could really say that these responses could either be at Pusha T or him just talking that talk. A lot of them do sound like their response to Pusha T though. So the first track where Drake is essentially responding to Pusha T is the first track, Survival. He said a lot on this track. He even talked about the Meek Mill situation and the Diddy situation, but we're here to talk about Pusha T. And he responds towards the end with these bars. He says, always got an ace up my sleeve for whatever was dealt, meaning that Pusha T came with the diss track. He was going to have a response for it. Then he says, Daddy got suits like Bernie Mac. He dresses himself. And of course, as we know, Pusha T on the story of Adidon made fun of Drake's father on the way he dresses. So of course, these bars seem like they're going directly at Pusha T and responding to him. He also says then, I stopped asking myself. I started feeling myself. Now I got to deal with all this drama and deal with myself. So obviously, when Pusha T came out with that diss track, it revealed that Drake had a hidden son and it caused a bunch of drama, him having a kid with a porn star, and so on and so forth. Now on track four, Emotionless, Drake is responding to Pusha T claiming that he's hiding a child. Towards the end of the track, Drake says, I wasn't hiding my kid from the world, I was hiding the world from my kid, from empty souls who just wake up and looked to debate until you staring at your seed you can never relate. Drake is just simply saying he didn't want his kid in the limelight. He didn't want the media going crazy and trying to take pictures of his kid and all kinds of stuff like that. He just wanted to keep his kid away from the world, which I can understand because some celebrities do not like having their kids in the limelight and stuff like that. But the way Pusha T made it seem was that Drake was a deadbeat and didn't want to take care of his kid. And of course, later on, Drake starts to address that. Now let's talk about track number 7 which is called 8 out of 10 and on this track he's responding to Pusha T and Kanye West. I mean straight out the bat he says too rich for who y'all just got rich who grips the mic and likes to kill their friends. And this is the direct response to Kanye West on the song No Mistakes off his recent album Yay. And on that track No Mistakes he said let me make this clear so all y'all see I don't take advice from people less successful than me. Han ain't no love lost, but the gloves off. And in Drake's bars, when he says too rich for who, y'all just got rich again. He's saying, who is the one that's more successful than me? You guys were in debt and now you just finally got money and millions and got rich again thanks to Kim Kardashian or whatever the case may be. Then in the second line, he says, who grips the mic and likes to kill their friends. In this, he's responding to Kanye's intro track on his album Ye where he says you'd only care enough to kill somebody you love today I thought about killing you then we get further into the track and Drake responds to the deadbeat father rumor that Pusha T said Drake says the only dead beats is whatever beats I've been rapping to then he continues on and says never a matter of could I or should I kiss my son on the forehead then kiss your ass goodbye as luck would have it, I've settled into my role as the good guy. And in these bars, I believe he's responding to Jay Prince saying that Drake is taking the good guy role. He's not going to release that major diss track that he allegedly has where he's going at Kanye West and going at Pusha T. And that Drake is saying it's never a matter of could I make the diss track or should I make it. And that he's settled into the good guy role and that he won't go that route. Then on track 11, which is Talk It Up featuring Jay-Z, there's a few bars going at Kanye West, Pusha T, and really just the whole good music movement. On these bars, he said they had it set up for real, but they didn't come with the slaps. When I heard the shit, I was skipping through that. Essentially, he's saying Kanye West had this whole thing set up where all of his artists are going to release albums, and they all did, but he's like, they didn't come with the hits, and when I heard it, I was just skipping through all that shit. Anyways, those are the bars that I feel are going at Pusha T and Kanye West. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
This definitely made Drake re-record his album after what happened to Pusha T. It's definitely clear that that happened. But yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality for just a dollar a month or more. Like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. I do videos like this daily on hip-hop news, who changed the music industry, and much more. So definitely subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW. Like us on Facebook, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.